Last episode, we talked about what voltage is on a high level. This week, we're gonna talk about what that means for your oscilloscope measurements. We ended last time by probing a DC battery with my oscilloscope, but what happens if I add in an AC source like my wave gen? So let's look at this a little more. I'm still probing the positive terminal of my battery, but my ground is now the ground of the wave gen on the scope. And the positive lead for my waveform generator is connected to the negative terminal of the battery. And since the wave gen's not on, I'm still seeing about nine volts. But as soon as I turn on the function generator built into the scope, I see that my voltage jumps up to almost 16 volts. The potential difference between the leads on my battery is still nine volts. So there's still a constant potential energy out of my battery, but I'm now wavering with respect to the waveform generator's output. And that's why your scope or DMM probes have two terminals, so they can compare the difference between the two. Also notice if I pull the ground pin off of the scope and now it's floating, it's gonna compare the positive terminal of the battery to the ground from the scope. So I'm still gonna see roughly nine volts. But check this out. If I turn the wave gen back on, I'm seeing 15.7 volts. As soon as I connect my ground pin again, boom, I'm gonna measure just the battery, just nine volts. So regardless of any outside influences, the oscilloscope is only gonna measure the voltage difference between the ground pin and the probe tip. That's all for today. Make sure you tune in next time. We'll talk about how Ohm's law isn't always true. Also make sure you subscribe to the Keysight Oscilloscope's YouTube channel and check out the new ebook, Six Tips for Getting the Most Out of Your Oscilloscope. There's a link for that in the description. Thanks for watching. I'm Daniel Bogdanoff and I'll see you next time.